What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review today and today we are going to take a look at the 44 by Joe Lit at Lit Up Customs. Now, before we get into the review, I wanted to take this time to remind everyone that the FDA wants to ban 99% of the vapor products currently on the market. Please follow notblowingsmoke.org, join CASA, Vaping Militia, and follow the call to action. Otherwise, nothing that I'm about to talk about will matter anyways. Please support HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment or Cole Bishop Men Amendment. If you guys could do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Support your right to vape. Let's not give up. Let's keep on fighting, guys. Let's keep on. So, anyways, back to this mod now. The 44 by Joe Lit at Lit Up Customs is a customized Hammond box. Now, this thing's gonna break the bank. It's a little bit pricey, but you do have your options with it. $250, they're always out of stock. You just gotta catch them at the right time. Stay up to date with them on Instagram. Make sure you get it. Now it's $250. Now you do have nine color options. Sorry guys, I got, I feel like I gotta constantly burp. I don't know. But anyways, you get nine color options. And as you guys can see, I got my lime green here, or zombie green, however you guys want to look at it. So, you can get lime green, dark green, red, yellow, blue, purple, all black. Uh, I think there's a pink one. Oh, there's just so many colors, so many colors. I will leave a link in the description, as I always do, to their website. That way you guys can go check it out. Go ahead, pre-order one whatever you guys want to do so basically now this one came out on pre-order and I was able to jump on it when it did come out now a lot of people were really mad because they were delayed they had delayed now basically they sent emails out to us and they were like you know hey this is such and such we're waiting on batteries this and that and a lot of people were really mad me personally I wasn't mad it's just these things happen I expect delays I mean that's what I expect when I'm doing a pre-order so to me I did not get really mad about it now what made me mad was people getting mad about it now just be thankful that you get the mod you know I pre-ordered the Cloudmaker DNA 200 back way way before and basically I dropped two hundred dollars and never heard anything again never so I lost out on two hundred dollars didn't get the mod reached out to the company I reached out to the company that I did my transaction through I did everything I could lucked out missed out on my mod all that so I was really disappointed it really made me skeptical about pre-orders but Joe Lit and Michelle Lit are really really good people they stayed in touch with me about this and they did tell me you know they don't they don't know I do YouTube they don't know that so they did do good at that point of the aspect and I did not get it until a month after the expected delivery or shipping date or whatever was expected so hey I'm not mad guys so I've had it for quite some time now and I have been using it almost non-stop it has just been my go-to mod it is a really really big mod but it's not heavy in a long in long case it's not heavy it's not a heavy mod it is pretty big I will do maybe some size comparisons up close so why don't we just go ahead and do that guys let's go up to the nitty and the gritty of the 44 by lit up customs All right, up close with the 44 let me go ahead and take off my goon RDA here set that to the side here you go nice and beautiful I believe this is a 3d printed front plate here and it goes all the way around whatever color the mod is do have this nice my tech switch here definitely one of my favorite have it on my Titan as well nice little beady buttons nice and clicky and you know I'm not gonna cover the board too much because everybody pretty much knows about the DNA 200 board so I'm not really gonna go over that 
there's your charging and your connection to eScrub. Would not recommend changing your battery settings or anything in here because they have the battery set up for you. Here's your countersunk Veritube 510 connection, spring loaded. Let me go ahead and get a little. There we go, nice and springy. Check out the spring in that bad boy, man. So, got a nice bare tube connection. As you guys can see, it is a little bit off. Let me see if I can get this camera to focus for you guys. As you guys can see, it is a little bit slanted here at an angle. But that's because Hammond boxes have a lean to it. So what it does is basically when you set it down, it's going to have a little bit of lean. So they countersunk this one in a little bit on the left side, raised it up on the right side. That way when you set it down, your RDA or your tank or whatever you have setting on here will sit flush. Well, not flush, but you know... Uh, upright yeah that's the word I'm looking for so really nice engravings here basically this uh, the story behind this if you go check out lit up customs now the 44 is named after uh, Joe Litt's dad Don and he was a go-kart or oh man I hope I'm getting that right it's a go-kart racer and his number is 44 that's why we got the 44 here with the racing stripes definitely love the kit and lit up custom mods engraving here 148 is my serial number just overall just great now you can take these screws out to get to your battery if you want to change it out or just wanna if you have an extra battery laying around just lovely mod just I love this switch I mean I just can't believe what I've been missing with these switches and all these this switch right here it's pretty much on all the really really expensive mods so definitely like that they added that on there I really like that I love the way it looks I love the little beady buttons just been a great device overall now whenever you get your juice here it will kind of darken it a little bit but I have not had any problems with it fading on me yet so I'm really surprised because I take this thing to, with me to work and everything and it has just been a great mod it's just been great setup love the battery life now the battery charging is only a one amp charge so that's kind of a bummer but I can look past it because we have a lot of battery life you have a 22.2 watt hour high drain lipo battery I believe it's a max amps battery now basically what this is is four four inches four and three eight inches tall two and a half inches wide and one and five six inches deep so pretty big mod pretty beefy now it does go for two hundred and fifty dollars so you gotta definitely keep your eyes out and snag one when you can guys let me go ahead and do a size comparison for you guys beside the lost art e-fusion dna 200 so it is definitely a lot bigger than that definitely beefier here it is beside the segelli 213 as you guys can see, it is a significantly bigger device. And here it is beside my other favorite mod, the Titan. As you guys can see, they both have that Hammond switch there. Just, oh, or my tech switch, my bad. So it's definitely big beefy mod but I like it I really do it's definitely been my favorite DNA 200 device that I have currently so without further ado guys I say we go back to FaceTime vape on it talk about it tell you guys the pros and the cons let's do this right guys that was the nitty and the gritty of the 44 mod now my pros and my cons with this now my pros are I love it I just love the battery life in it I love the size of it I love the appearance of it I love everything about this mod now I love that you get color options 
everything like that. I love how they countersunk the very tube connection. That way, you know, your Eddy sits flush because Hammond boxes have that lean. They're going to have that lean unless you flatten the bottom or something like that. Now, I love the MyTex switch. Oh, that MyTex switch is just oh, butter. Just butter, guys. Butter. Now, I, it is a big mod. Now, my only con with this device is it has a 1 amp charge. I wish it was maybe a 2 amp charge. If it was a 2 amp charge, this device would be amazing because even though you get really, really good battery life, like I think I get like a day and a half out of that battery life on this mod. Now, even though you get that battery life, it would be nice to have like a 2 amp charge. Then you'd be on top of the world, guys. You'd be on top of the world. Just vaping. Just all day, man. Just vaping. Now, just I've just been nonstop loving it. It's just been really good. I love the way it feels. It's really, it's not heavy. It's really not heavy. If I had to compare it in weight, ugh. I don't know. I don't know. I would have to play around and touch touch around on my mods and see here. But it's really not that heavy for being as big as it is. As you guys seen in the close-ups, I did do a size comparison. It is rather big, but it's not over big. It's not heavy. It's just it, it feels good in your hand. I got little hands, guys. So this mod to me, I really enjoy it definitely been one of my favorite mods and it's going to continue to be one of my favorite mods just because I love it. It's just amazing. Now other than that guys I really don't have all that much to tell you guys about it anymore. Just leave a link in the description. Please support HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. Please write your legislators do everything you can to save vaping. Fight for your right. Let's save this for future generations to experience and love vaping like we do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for the nitty and the gritty.